STEM Ambassador Program is really an effort to try to address one of the most pressing problems that we have in society, and that is the, the increasing distance between science and society. What we're trying to do as scientists is to gather knowledge that will ultimately benefit society, but unfortunately what exists right now is, um, like I said, a major gap. Scientists have lost that narrative in many ways, um, but typically there aren't great opportunities for um, a large part of the population to hear science from the horse's mouth, <laughs> um, directly from scientists. And so the STEM Ambassador Program is really, we called it the Ambassador Program because it's about scientists crossing over to another nation, the nation of community groups crossing over to the nation of science. And so our program is really about trying to understand how to train scientists to cross over those borders to other nations besides science. I know that from both sides, um, We've heard from the, uh, from the scientists how, how much they enjoy the engagement with the prisoners, um, but then also on the prisoner side, they come away with a knowledge of something that they never had thought about before, so it's really helpful on both sides. And so coming to these groups that maybe have no prior knowledge of what I'm um, thinking about or what I'm talking about, I can get this really interesting perspective from a whole other angle and be like, oh, I never thought about that connection before. That's interesting. So having people who are experts be able to come into our after school program and explain what that life looks like and like here's what makes me passionate about my job and then do fun experiments with the teenagers that get the kids excited about it and thinking maybe this is something that would actually make sense for me in my life. I think all of that has been the really cool part about working with STEM Map. One of the strengths of STEM Map is that it integrates some tried and true approaches from other programs. It integrates the original STEM Ambassador Program, which was that outreach piece to non-traditional science-going populations. Then it takes design thinking, which is an approach to gaining understanding, developing empathy, having a prototyping mindset when you're working with people and to create certain kinds of experiences. Although the public may seem disinterested in science by, by scientists, if we can match them, if we can find a common link or a common thread in terms of the research a scientist does or the personality or the personal experiences of a scientist or, or some metaphor that might connect these scientists with the public group, then those audiences are going to be very interested. They're going to want to connect with that scientist.